हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर पिंकेश जे पटेल फ्रॉम द इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट फ्रॉम द कॉलेज ऑफ महात्मा गांधी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्निकल एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च सेंटर नवसारी टुडे आई एम गोइंग थ्रू अ सब्जेक्ट ऑफ पावर सिस्टम वन हैविंग अ सब्जेक्ट कोड ऑफ थ्री वन फोर जीरो नाइन वन फोर बी ई थर्ड ईयर फिफ्थ सेम सो वेलकम बैक to my new video so inside my last lecture we have learned about a uh, uh, thermal power plant so we can start with the chapter number 1 that is the conventional generation load curves and tariffs this is the flow of the contents generation scenario in india and gujarat steam power station schematic arrangement of steam power station equipment of steam power station hydroelectric power station schematic arrangement of hydroelectric power station and last one that is the constituents of hydroelectric plant so inside my last lecture we have discussed about the generation scenario in india and gujarat and uh, steam power station and the scheme arrangement of the steam power station and equipment which can be used for the steam power station so today i can start with the lecture with the hydroelectric power station so firstly the main question that is the what do you mean by hydroelectric power station the definition of the hydroelectric power station that is a generating uh, generating station which utilizes the potential energy of water at a high level for the generation of electrical energy is known as a hydroelectric power station so for the hydroelectric power station which can be used for the generation of electricity and for that we can use as a fuel that is the water so mostly hydroelectric power station which are locating in hilly area where dams can be built uh, conveniently and large water reservoir can be obtained so in the hydroelectric power station water head is created by constructing a dam across a river or lake side so from the dam water is led to a water turbine the water tur turbine captures the energy in the falling water and changes the hydraulic energy that is the product of head and the flow of the water into the uh, mechanical energy at the turbine shaft the turbine drives the alternator which converts the mechanical energy into electrical energy so hydroelectric power station are becoming a uh, very popular because the reserve uh, the reserves of fuels that is the coal and oil are depleting day by day so if we can go through a hydro power station having a advantages that is it requires no fuels as water is used for the generation of electrical energy so water that is available in the free manner so we can say that it requires no fuel second one that is the it's it is quite neat and clean as no smoke or as is produced so if we can go through a steam power station which can produce a very high amount of smoke and as which is not produced if we can go through a hydro power station third one that is the it requires very small running charges because water is the source of energy which is available free of cost fourth one that is it is comparatively simple in construction and requires less maintenance fifth one that is it does not require a long starting time like a steam power st uh, steam power station so if we can go through a steam power station which can require a very high amount of time for the starting purposes next one that is it it is robust and has a longer life as compared to the other power plant then last one that is the hydro 
power plant require the attention of highly skilled persons at the time of construction uh, uh, or few experienced persons that may require for the, for the hydro power plant. So these all are the advantages of the hydroelectric power station. Now we are going for the disadvantages of the hydroelectric power plant which includes high capital cost due to the construction of the dam because for the construction of the dam which may require very high amount of concrete likewise all the materials regarding to the dam so high capital cost of the construction of the dam second one that is the availability of huge amount of water due to the dependence on the weather condition because if we can go through a monsoon so for that we can get the very high amount of water but if we can go through a summer side so at that time we have to be dependent on the other sources third one that is the skilled and experienced hands are required to build the plant fourth one that is the it requires high cost of transmission line as the plant is located in hilly area which are quite away from the consumer side so these are the disadvantages of hydroelectric power station now we are going for the schematic arrangement of hydroelectric power station so figure shows the schematic arrangement of the hydroelectric power station so firstly the dam in, is constructed across a river or lake and water from the catchment area collects at the back of the dam to form a reservoir so whatever the uh, water that may be a uh, reservoir there which can be considered as a reservoir then a pressure tunnel which is uh, taken off from the reservoir and water is brought to the uh, wall house at the start of the penstock the wall house contains main walls and automatic isolating walls then the from the wall house water is taken to the uh, water turbine through a huge steel pipe is known as penstock the water turbine converts the hydraulic energy into mechanical energy and then after turbine drives the alternator which converts the mechanical energy into electrical energy so this this is the function of the reservoir and dam now we are going for the surge tank a surge tank is the wall house and protects the penstock from the bursting in the case the turbine gets suddenly closed due to the electrical load being thrown off when the gates close there is a sudden stopping of the water at the lower end of the penstock and consequently the penstock can burst like a paper lock now we are going for the uh, choice of site for hydro power station which includes availability of water second one that is the storage of water third one that is the cost and type of land and fourth one that is the transportation facilities so first one that is the availability of water since the primary requirement of hydroelectric power station is the availability of huge quantity of water because such plants should be built at a place very nearer to the river side or lake side where water is available at a good head second one that is the storage of water so there are wide variation in the water supply from a river or canal during the years this makes it is necessary to store water by constructing a dam in order to ensure the generation of power throughout the year the storage helps the flow of water so that any excess uh, quantity of water at a certain period of the year can be made available during times of very low flow in the river third one that is the cost and type of the land the land for the construction of the plant should be available at a reasonable
price also the bearing capacity of the ground should be adequate to withstand the weight of heavy equipment to be installed fourth one that is the transportation facilities the site should be selected for the hydroelectric plant should be accessible by rail by rail and road so that necessary equipment and machinery could be easily transported via rail and road side so this is the uh, choice of site for the hydro power station now we are going for the constituents of hydroelectric plants which can be divided into two category that is the hydraulic structure and second one that is the water turbines if you can go through a hydraulic structure again it can be divided into number of equipments like dam spill wells head works surge tank and penstock if we can go through a water turbines which can also divided into uh, two categories first one that is the impulse turbines and second one that is the reac uh, reaction turbines and reaction turbines again it can be divided into two category francis turbines and kaplan turbines so we can start with the hydraulic structure so firstly we can start with the dam a dam is a barrier which stores the water and create a water head dams are built of concrete or stone or rock fill the type and arrangement depend upon the uh, topography of the site an earth dam may be the best suited for the wide valley and dam that is mostly located in the hilly area for the purpose of high head now second one that is the uh, spill wells so there are times when the river flow exceeds the storage capacity of the reservoir such a situation arise during heavy rain flow in the catchment area so in order to discharge the surplus water from the storage reservoir into the river on to the downstream side of the dam spillways are used so due to the uh, very uh, high amount of uh, flood that may be take place so at day time uh, amount of water that may be discharged back to the earth so for that spillways are used over there so spillways are constructed of concrete uh, concretes on the top of the dam gates are provided in between these piers and surplus water is discharged over the crash of the dam by opening these gates third one that is the head works the head works that is the one kind of uh, wall which can uh, provide a uh, di uh, diversions for the flow of the water there is not uh, any corner that may be take place inside the head works because if is there any uh, corner that may be take place then the flow of the water that may be disturbed over there so for that having a straight way for the flow of the water inside the head works fourth one that is the surge tank and the function of the surge tank that is the it can provide the protection to the pan stock a surge tank is located nearer to the beginning of the conduit when the turbine is running at a steady load there are no surges in the flow of the water through the conduit that is the quality of water flowing into the uh, conduit is just sufficient to meet to the turbine requirement however when the load on the turbine decreases the governor closes the gates of the turbine reducing water supply to the turbine the excess water at the lower end of the conduit rushes back to the surge tank and increases its water level thus the conduit is preventing uh, prevented from bursting on the other hand when load on the turbine increases additional water is drawn from the surge tank to meet the increased load requirement hence surge tank overcomes the abnormal abnormal pressure into the uh, conduit when load on the turbine 
falls and acts as a reservoir during increase of load onto the turbine so this is the main function of the surge tank last one that is the pen stock a pen stock are open or closed conduits which carry water to the turbine which can be used for the transferring the water from one end to the turbine side they are generally made of reinforced concrete or steel concrete pen stock are suitable for low heads that is less than 30 meter as greater pressure causes rapid uh, deterioration of the concrete so if you can go through a steel pen stock can be designed for any head the th thickness of the pen stock increases with the head or working pressure so this is the function of the pen stock now we are going for the uh, water turbines so water turbines are used to convert the energy of falling water into the uh, mechanical energy so again water turbines are divided into two category impulse turbines and react uh, reaction turbines so we can start with the uh, impulse turbines so impulse turbine the entire pressure of water is converted into the uh, kinetic energy in a nozzle and the velocity of the jet drives the wheel there is a one of the uh, turbine which can be come inside the category of the impulse turbines that is the pelton wheel now we are going for the uh, reaction turbines so reaction turbines are used for low and medium heads in a reaction turbines water enters the runner partly with pressure energy and partly with velocity head so there are two types of turbine which is come inside the category of reaction turbines francis turbines and kaplan turbines so cap francis turbines is, is used for low to the medium heads whereas kaplan turbines which is used for low heads this this is the uh, one of the best picture for the sarda server dam and associated water in infrastructure is expected to supply water for irrigation of 1.84 million hectares in gujarat so this is the picture of the hydro power plant at the sarda server dam now question from gtu papers so based on uh, this lecture the question that may be asked inside the gtu papers so first one that is the explain working of hydro power station with suitable schematic diagram and discuss function of its constituents second one that is the draw and explain neat schematic arrangement of hydro power station and discuss function of its constituents and third one that is the explain working of hydro power station with suitable schematic diagram and discuss function of its constituents so in this lecture we can uh, we have study regarding to the uh, schematic arrangement of the hydro power station what are the advantages and disadvantages of the hydro power station then what are the different kind of uh, components which is connected with the hydro power station and then after we have seen about the uh, real picture of the hydro power station in the next lecture we can learn about the another uh, new power plant that is the nuclear power plant and we can uh, learn about the uh, schematic diagram of the nuclear power plant what are the different uh, equipment which is connected uh, inside the nuclear power plant then uh, how the nuclear power plant that that should be in the working condition so so all that theory that we can learn inside the next lecture thank you